let's take a look at the ribbon bar up above here. Uh, and I've got it up above in this area and also the command window down below. By the way, if you don't see the ribbon bar, you want to key in ribbon and enter, hit the enter key, and that will pop the ribbon bar up on the screen. And um, you'll notice also the ribbon bar has some, some areas, some categories here, dark topics, uh, home uh, position, which has a lot of the basic commands to start off with, solids, surfaces, mesh, and so on. Each one of these will, uh, has, has commands that go through. For example, like for the home position, in this area we have modeling. And on the modeling we have the commands that are primitive commands to create primitive solids. I have the escape key right there to retract that. And also the extrude command, options for extrude, different types of extrudes. And then down here on each one of these where you see the arrow pointing down, that means there's more that's available, commands that are related to solids that are hidden, but you can bring those to the forefront. Or you can also, uh, when you move off, they'll, they'll, they'll contract. So if you select and then hit the, the push pin, what will happen is you'll get that to be pinned down. You can also drag these out on the screen and for you know, more, if you're using them more regularly. Uh, in this case, I'm going to come over here and just move up, and there's this ghost image here that appears if I move the cursor up in the corner. It allows me to return the panel to the ribbon by clicking on that, and it returns back to its position. Uh, let's take a look at these other ones here. Um, the down arrow, again, as I mentioned, brings more commands. In this case, you've got an arrow. This allows you to, to bring up some more fine-tuning uh, options or settings. This command is for uh, smoothing surfaces and, and gives you some options there. Uh, I'm going to put that box away. Again, solid editing, down arrow, some more solid editing related commands, draw, what you're familiar with in 2D, with the exception of the 3D polyline command, you wouldn't see that in 2D. Um, also, you don't see the helix, but you see the other commands in here that you're used to in 2D, lines and polylines and so on. As I move off, it contracts, modify, Again, same thing as 2D, uh, with the exception of some commands in here, for example, like 3D Move, 3D Rotate, and 3D Scale. Okay. Now, Sections, here's another area we've got a couple of these icons. When I go to Sections, if I click on here, it gives me type of sections I want. Um, live Sections, I can always do something called Flat Shot, which, which generates 2D images of your 3D model. I can extract edges. Whoops, I go back there again. There we are. Uh, now you notice there's an arrow. I, either the arrow's down here at the bottom, or uh, I can also take the arrow at the very top. Let's move off for a second. Here's the arrow here. When I select that, there's another s set of conditions for sections. You can set up what color you want it to be, um, what line type, and so on. So these are all related to the section command. I'm going to get out of that. Coordinates, again, another down arrow. Brings up a dialog box. There are also, as, as usual, you get some of these subsections here that have, air, that have commands that are built in that pop out from those, those arrows. So look at those also. Hit the escape key, retract that. View command. Again, select the view. Some view-related commands on the arrow that pop down from that, from that panel, as you see that. As you move off, it disappears unless you pin it down. Here's a command called subobject, which allows you to go through, for example, when you can filter out you can basically control the objects. You want to, if you get objects hidden from other objects, you can move the cursor over and choose how you want to select those. Filter in particular. Um, how do you want to filter out your access to the model? The vertices, the edges, and the faces. Um, that gives you some option to just get those particular aspects of a model and get, get a control of those. We have the escape key, get out of that. And then layers. Here's typical layer commands you're used to. The escape key, you just move off. And also here is the view cube. The view cube in 3D is works really well. Here's a hotspot for the top orientation. Very easy to navigate around. Here's my southeast orientation. Here's my front my right front view, and here's the bottom view. And I go back. There we go. You see how I can easily select top view and just pick those and get the orientation you want. In addition, you can, I'm going to pan over here with a middle mouse button or the scroll button, hold the shift key down and just freeform orbit, as you see here. There it goes again. I'm looking over the horizon and tipping underneath the plane, you can see there's the grid. And I'm going to tip it back up into space and release my mouse button. Over here on WCS, it's we're working with the world coordinate system. 
if I have other coordinate systems, I can choose those. Uh, but also here you see you have parallel or perspective. Perspective is what you're starting off with. gives you more realistic view of the, of the model. Parallel is just flat. It just basically has no, no, uh, nothing that is familiar with realistic uh, viewing of an object. So perspective is good to start off with. So then again, that's right-clicking on WCS to get that. And there's view cube settings, which you can set up how it looks. When you right-click, you can choose it how you want this, this the opacity and the and and the uh, the way the control is for the nav cube. Okay, and on the right hand side here are some handy commands. Here's orbit. Here's his pan. Again, just off the side, steering wheel. You see these commands, and they'll they'll show up as you move the cursor over here. It's sort of has a ghost image that reappears. So again, there's the kind of overview of the interface. Uh, each one of these tabs, don't forget, there's different categories here for surfaces and solids, meshes, all these commands are up here in the ribbon bar. But that's only in the 3D modeling environment, the workspace. Don't forget about that.